dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Lee protected other people too. But he couldn't save everyone. You can never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad. And then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Stay away from the cities. They're just not worth the risk. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ. He made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done... I still decided we were better together. For AJ's sake, but like everything else, it wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I fought back, but I wasn't strong enough. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have, and I'll protect him with my life, just like Lee did for me. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves.
I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Oh, I've always called you goofball. It's time for you to stop. It's Alvin Jr. AJ still work? AJ still works. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream. Vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you wanna eat me. Is that true? Do you wanna eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. Oh man, my feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. Hmm, <laughs> sassy. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? <sighs> go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. Water, too. All right, let's find some food. AJ, stay back. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there.
do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? Check, the, Check windows. the windows. That's right. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Windows are all boarded up. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. See anything? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together. Holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. This opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people, and as people, they ask to be left alone. So what's best? I'll get the key. I'm sorry. Good job. <sighs> Sorry, it had to go this way. Stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. And you saying I'm not someone? 
That's not what I mean. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Save the last- Save the last bullet for myself. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. <sighs> Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. Huh. Something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. I wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! AJ! Get to the car. 
Sometimes I don't know where this dirty road is taking me. Sometimes I don't know the reason why. So I guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves and lots of rambling. Well, it's easier than just a way. PJ! Uh, uh, uh. What is this place? will do. The knife. But you do the same. We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. <laughs> I'll take you to see him. Your turn. guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. 
He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. You had to take precautions, you know, just in case. Save your sorries for someone who cares. All I care about is my boy. So it seems. Still, I apologize. Tying folks up isn't exactly something we enjoy around here. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy. been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. It's taken its toll. Been making a lot of mistakes lately. You saw the car. Don't be so hard on yourself. You lived, didn't you? Good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. We haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well... I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but... We do alright for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses. A good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Ericsson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit... Troubled. You got me and AJ all wrong, Marlin. A couple of pure angels. <laughs> Jury's still out on you, but an angel your boy is decidedly not. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Hey, get a move on, Willie. And where's your damn weapon?
Mm, nope. Music sounds like it's coming from this floor. this one 
And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey. Have you seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. Got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> ask you just coming to it all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. I don't think we've met. I'm Clementine. Yeah, I know. Your kid won't stop talking about you. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls, they're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. traps laying around this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout.
There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Gonna be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. All right, girl, it's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B-plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. You did a good job out there too, Lewis. You're too kind. And accurate. You're falling right into his trap, you know. Trap schmap. She's just speaking the gods honest. So am I. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's <sighs> Hey, 
AJ! <sighs> So sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. Hmm. He's jumpy, little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people in the. No one expect him to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. Well, the same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. Gross. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first.
There's that girl up it. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty, and your apology. I did it! You sure did. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? I've never seen anyone do that. No, let them have some space. Okay. I'm glad you're not in a graveyard. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know, bye. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? 
Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You are a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Never. Not even once? Never. I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? 
The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Huh. Maybe you, Marlin? Oh, really? That's what's happened to almost everyone I know who tried to keep a group alive. Huh. Yeah. Almost everyone. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. <sighs> yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax, get some sleep, feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me and talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it.